morning, y'all. I forgot that I was supposed to be recording today. I was on the phone with my friend, running my mouth, eating my turkey sausage for breakfast. Um, it's kind of gloomy out here. I'm surprised me I still got a glare on the camera, so I apologize for the glare. Um, <laughs> let me first start off. I recorded a little bit of me going to the voting booth this morning. Let me get some open wide and screen up a little bit. Like to be a little closer to ya. All right, there we go. Ah, that's better. So, I started off with my Telltale Tuesday, Travel Talk Tuesday, however you want to call it. My tat 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 day. I started that off with me going to the election poll. And while I was at the polls, I realized that some of the campaign workers outside didn't realize that there was more than two political presidential candidates on the on the ballots. I think that's so fucking sad, but anywho. Anyway, today I was supposed to tell y'all like the story about my ancestry DNA cousin. But before I start that, I got a little rant. <laughs> on my video itself, um, I have one lady come on there and tell me that she was quite certain that all of my ancestors derived from slaves. Um, she was based it on the fact that I was telling my mother that a lot of her genetics didn't come from the slave trade areas. Now, as I mentioned to her in my comments, I didn't show the maps of the regions and I didn't um, break down the sub-regions to specific areas. Nothing that I gave that was countering what the hell I said. I know where the Atlantic slave trade areas um, were supposed to be from in comparison to my mother's map. I know which parts of her genetic DNA testing from ancestry did, ma did not match those areas. So we got to a little discussion about that. But the thing that got me about that is like she told me I need to go research. Don't fucking tell me what the hell I need to go do. <laughs> You need to research if you want to prove me wrong so bad. But since, like I said, since I didn't give all the information about what the hell was on our actual test in detail, you how the fuck can you say you know for certain? Are you one of my goddamn ancestors? I don't think so, boo boo. Then another dude tried to come back and tell me, oh, blacks being slaves, and pretty much we started our history in America as a slave. No Negro, Politan ice cream man, whatever the fuck you are. <laughs> I think he had a video up um, with a native uh, Emmett profile pic, whatever. Anywho, maybe there was blacks in America long before Columbus came here. There was blacks that came to America as free, free blacks. A lot of us came here during the slave trade. But there is no guarantee to you or any other motherfucker when my ancestors came, whether they came before Columbus or when they came after the slave trade ended. So you don't know what the hell you're talking about. And there has been evidence, already been uncovered, that there was black Americans, or black people, not Americans, black people were here long before Columbus. They're called the Negretic Africans. They were here over 100,000 years. Their information traced back to BC. Don't try to come school me. Let me tell you a little bit about myself. I got three effing degrees, three of them. One of them is a degree in black studies. I didn't need a degree to tell me about my own damn blackness, but I got one anyway. So I've done a lot of research. I love archeology. span I have researched a lot of archeological digs. I know a lot of information about that as well. I watch a lot of PBS specials, Discovery Channel. I watch the effing news and damn it, I can look at Google. You hear me? So please don't come in here and try to check me. I'm cool on all the jokes. Shit, damn near everybody in my comment section, if you say you're from a certain place and I got any of those strains in my DNA according to Ancestry, you're my goddamn cousin. I'm claiming you. So be mad about that. And then I have my, my overly, overly, overly conscious black people that want to come on and tell me about how I'm being divisive in the, and, but then at the same time said I shouldn't. I should look at our commonalities. I'm like, 
okay, we all got our own reasons why we took this test. I'm not taking this test for scientific research, honey. If you watch any of the other videos, I'll tell you exactly why I'm taking the test. If you read the comment in the description, it tells you why I'm taking the test. So sa save me with that bullshit. Three, I got a sister on her. Who's not very uh, up on her math. I understand we got 46 chromosomes. But if my mama gave me 23 and my daddy gave me 23, they both gave me half. Half and half. One half plus one half equals one. One of me. Half is 50%. She's telling me 23 plus 23 equals 46. So I don't know how you came up with 50. Did y'all see that in the comment section? I know y'all don't want to comment, but that's okay. <laughs> After so long, when I tell you that I'm done with your conversation with you, I'm done. You can come back and talk to me all you want. I'm not going to bother to respond any further. Because I'm done. The whole situation is petty anyway. I can only be petty for so long. and I'm, I, I'm good at being petty, but I can only be petty for so long. It's not worth the energy. But don't come try to check me, boo. That's all I'm saying. Um, so <laughs> back to my point. Ancestry DNA cousin. So I said I was gonna try to tell y'all about what he told me, which I found was scarily fascinating. He stated that a couple years ago he was in a, involved in a traumatic accident, which caused him long term amnesia. I mean, like in the movies. And I'm thinking, boy, you're a real 50 first dates. Because he said he didn't even remember how long he'd been married. I thought he was joking. But I couldn't find out he wasn't joking. He was serious. So that, that was really insensitive of me to uh, think that. But I thought it. So um, he's really been trying to piece together his past and his history with the help of ancestry. Because um, he could only remember something from um, two years prior. I mean, two years latter, not prior. Can't remember anything prior to two years ago, which is sad. And so I, I, I understand now why like in our, when we talk to each other, because we have been talking to each other through Ancestry's website, why he always says, why you keep trying to make me not your cousin? <laughs> I mean, we are like six cousins. My great, 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 great aunt. I believe was married to his great 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 uncle. So he's not in my direct line. I've traced my family tree through my great grandmother and her mother and her mother. Okay. So my great grandmother's name is Susie. Her mother's name is Viola. Viola's mother is also named Susie. Susie has a sister named Lizzie. The the second Susie, the great 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 has a sister named Lizzie. Lizzie is married to his great great uncle Monroe. That's how we're connected. So we're so far down the family tree. Um, I don't know if that's twice removed or once removed, but I mean, I guess we still have a bloodline connection. So hey, you my damn cousin. Like I said, I'm claiming people in my comment section. This one sister came on there and said she was from Finland, hey? And um, she has the Finland Russian type of thing going on, and my mama did too. So, hey, you my cousin. Um, one person said, hey, shout out from Nigeria. Hey, shout out to Nigel. I just learned it. It ain't I J A Nigel. <laughs> I just learned it. So shoot, you my cousin too. My little 13%, you my cousin too. We are one. We all a family. That's how I feel about it. Get mad if you want to. Um, so yeah, but um when I'm going to visit my cousins that I am familiar with this weekend. And he lives 20 minutes outside of where they live. So I'm gonna meet my ancestry cousin this week my mom is like I'm bringing my stun gun <laughs> I was already on like I'm going YouTube or Facebook live and this whole meeting in case something happened but really I'm not really concerned um, he said him and his wife they're really excited to meet us I'm excited too I'm, I'm a very social sociable person I can leave the country and get cool with anybody so I know that I can get cool with somebody in the country who has some type of bloodline connection to me. No problem. Um, but yeah, my mom is like, yeah, so we bring the stun gun. We don't know this dude, we bring the stun gun. 
in case something pop off. It's his Texas. Boop, boop. <laughs> I ain't even worried about it though. My biggest concern about going to Texas is one, my mama had warrants that I don't think she ever resolved. <laughs> and two, I have attitude problems sometimes. So I don't want to get pulled over by the police. So I'm going to try to not speak. I have driven from St. Louis to uh, to Dallas in six hours. And it's really like a nine-hour trip. But I was doing over 100 the whole way. I got stopped by the police then, too. But I was still, I still rolled out. I'm going to tell you that story one day. Um, but, yeah. But one other thing, I've been so caught up in the fact that I'm going to be meeting my ancestor because I completely forgot that um, I call her my buddy slim twin there was this website that i used to be on called buddy slimmers that i used to um go blog about weight loss and i met some really cool people on there um but i've actually only met one of them in person for some reason when i uh get ready to meet people they always the person backs out they don't get, stay in contact with me once i'm in that city i don't hear from them I mean, it could be a lot of reasons, but it never fails. I met one YouTube person. We was talking about going on Amazing Race together. We talked for a few years. And then when I was happening to be down in Miami, I was like, hey, I'm in Miami. Let's meet up. He answered me the first time to say he was in. I was He was there. And I was like, well, I'm near where you live. You told me you live in Hollywood. And I'm like, I'm, I'm near there. So let's try to meet up. We can meet at a restaurant. We can meet anywhere. I didn't hear from him no more. Didn't even answer my calls after that. I'm at work. Didn't even answer my calls after that. And then um, there was another uh, time where I met this guy on another weight loss site. Um, he's from Atlanta. We uh, talked for a long time. And he actually it was like he was interested in getting to know me more other than just like the internet. We had planned on meeting, taking a, a trip and meeting in another country together. And I happened to be in Atlanta because I got family friends there. And I was like, well, I'm coming to Atlanta in about a week. Um, Let's just meet up there first, you know, see if we really jail in person before we go try to meet somewhere in another country. And then once I sent that message saying I would be coming there, I never heard from him again. So I sent like some follow up emails to him. I'm like, what the hell is going on? And um, he was like, oh, it was like two weeks later when he responded, two weeks after I had left Atlanta, he responded back, was like, oh, I got busy. Now I'm thinking you just had a woman. The first guy that was in, in Florida, I really think he was 12. I, for some reason, I kept tell, I kept saying he was 12. He, his name was Pepito. And usually the Ito means small, little child or something like that. <laughs> so I, I always said he was, I always joked that he was 12. And I was like, so when this, this adult finally said, okay, let's meet um then that wasn't gonna happen this guy in atlanta he was like you must have had a woman for real and that's why you really wanted to meet me in another country and like i only spent like a good year and a half just over the internet so we built like you know um uh, a, a nice little bond i thought but that fell off quick and then um i met another sister um over the internet through a pen pal site and I went to Barbados and I actually met her. She was cool as fuck. Her and her guy took care of me and my friends like wholeheartedly. She brought me a feast of food daily. And I was like, okay, we're going to eat together just at my establishment. No, this was just for me and my friend. I mean, she brought food fit for a king every meal of the day for two people. I had to stop her. <laughs> I lost contact with her. I am so sad I lost contact with her. But her guy at the time, I'm still in contact with him. He said he doesn't even contact me anymore. He proposed to her um, a few years ago, and she turned him down. And based off of conversations me and her had before, I was I knew she would turn him down. But since they since that happened, she hasn't spoke to him. They have a they had a child together, so I don't know how how that works that he's not talking to her or he's lying to me when I say, hey, I, can you reach out to her for me? I would really like to see her again because I want to come back to, it was in Barbados, come back to your country. But I still talk to him. Like the first time I went to Canada, I went because of him. He uh, paid for me to come to Canada. That was my birthday gift. 
he paid for me and one of my friends to come up there and it wasn't nothing sexual or anything like that um because we barely even saw him um he got us a house to stay in with one of his friends he uh raced horses so he went to go race horses and everything we saw him maybe a couple times during that whole week we was there we just kicked it i mean he didn't he has never tried to push himself up on me until recently but this is now like a 15 year of knowing somebody that he finally expressed an interest in we were both single now um maybe we should try nah bro bro we ain't, ain't gonna never try that <laughs> we cool we could be friends but we ain't gonna be together ever don't it pause pause okay and so then let's see who else i met so the other girl the girl from the buddy slimmer i'd be losing track of what the hell i'm saying because i talk so doggone much so the buddy Sl girl buddy slimmer girl um it's my twin i always call her my twin because we had the same exact body measurements we was about the same height um her birthday was the date that i was trying to reach my goal weight my birthday was the day she was trying to reach her goal weight so we had so much in common we had children in common um we had a lot in common so we have built a friendship starting from the internet since 2008 um and we have taken that friendship to telephone calls letters we send each other christmas cards i know her kid's birthday she knows my kid's birthday um well we probably actually don't remember the actual dates anymore but i know hers and i know she knows mine <laughs> so um she lives there she lives in dallas also so i'm gonna get to meet her for the first time in eight years I, this is gonna be a, an exciting short weekend for me because it's only gonna be a couple days that i'm gonna beat her and i'm probably gonna barely see cousins but I, my original plan is to go see my cousin um she's my younger cousin but the last time i was in texas um we had a family member who passed away so it's the last time i seen them and her oldest son was four years old and now she has four beautiful children that i've never met and i want to go meet these beautiful babies i want to bring them gifts the cousin from afar oh my god i'm so excited so happy so yeah y'all you know this is um <laughs> I, I said i had so many uh, the last tuesday of the month is the day i tell a story time so i call that tell a tale tuesday and so since i'm gonna be like in my car on tuesdays for the most part or probably i guess walking it's still traveling so there's gonna be travel and talk tuesday so that's t-a-t-t -T -T, tat that's what tuesday is gonna be this is the second tat video because the first one was my story time um so you can check out that story time if you're over 18 i put an age restriction on the video because uh youtube kept flagging it because it was about me being uh kidnapped and it's a true story but um y'all know i got a potty mouth so i'm thinking it was flagged because of the potty mouthness you can't possibly flagging me because i was talking about being kidnapped because it was a true story and there's other videos on youtube about being kidnapped and yeah whatever whatever um i didn't i didn't get a youtube violation from that or from the, the video that it got the copyright ban on it that you can't see in a few companies i didn't get a um youtube violation so i guess that's a positive thing but yeah they restricted the video i did my videos yesterday on the walking dead and real housewives of atlanta they got posted real late because i was having technical difficulties with my computers I had some viruses crash my stuff so i wasn't able to even watch the episodes until real late last night both of them on with this video so now all right hey 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 last clip of the day um i'm off work i i think i am finally oh snap i missed some sorry sorry all right y'all <laughs> um the last clip of the day uh i think that i finally get my car back today on um, the dealership called yes i got it back once i may not have told you got it back once had it for two days and it started malfunctioning again so i had to take it back so i've been having uh their car again for about two weeks now so out of the 
67 days that I've owned my car, at least three weeks of those, 21 days, my brand new car has been at the dealership for repairs. Um, so I'm going home, um, take out my personal belongings, and then go turn this car in and get my car back and Hopefully everything goes all right with her. I like my car. I do. I even like this dealership. I like the way that they've been handling things. Um, they've been taking their time to make sure that things are done correctly is my assumption. That's why it's taking so long. Um, so, And they, they allowed me a car to drive around in the process. So I wanted to give you an update on what was going on with my suspension at work. Um, today was the first day that they ever came to me and said anything about it. So far, it's not being written up this time for a suspension. I'm being written up to receive a letter of warning. I'm going to send it over. The manager is going to send it over to his boss, the one who was insisting that I be written up, to explain to her what he recommend doing, which is the letter of warning, since I have no other write-ups in my whole career, and I've been working here for over 20 years um, so I'm quite sure she's gonna be pissed she was pissed the last time the person didn't put me up for suspension so you know just neither here nor there um, as far as my pay is concerned they still have not put in my pay adjustment to get the first pay period corrected they tried to do a pay uh, entry for that second pay period, and they still shorted me a probably about 15 hours total. And now uh, it's payroll entry time again on Friday, and the young lady who normally does my payroll is on vacation. Not this Friday, I'm sorry. Yeah, this Friday coming up. And the young lady who um, normally does my payroll, who simply just forgot last time, but who normally does it is going to be on vacation. So I'm already fearing that I'm going to have another pay period that may not be entered in properly. This is going to be, that'll make six weeks of pay not done properly if they mess it up again this time. The person that's supposed to be entering in, the one who told me he's going to enter it in, is the same one who's supposed to be making that correction on that second pay period week and did it incorrectly. So my confidence in him is really low. Um, the first, uh, the person who's supposed to be doing the correction for that first week, like I said, she finally sent over paperwork for me to sign and her adjustment was still wrong as well. So yeah, that's how it goes. All right, just wanted to keep you updated on the updates. And now I'm out officially. All right, y'all. Now, for real, like, comment, share, subscribe. Thanks for coming back, y'all. Peace.